you are welcome to a great moment in destiny. God is about to speak directly to you. And the message coming right up is crafted by heaven, not just to challenge you, but to align your destiny. As you embrace divine instruction, expect that God's word is bringing about revival, healing, restoration, and transformation to your entire life. With faith in your heart and great expectation, join me and receive God's word through his choice vessel, Good Heart Obi Ekweme. Woman, any woman that has any woman um, around them should let the woman know we need each other. Both the mentor and the mentee need large doses of patience, long-suffering, and deep-rooted love. That's because, especially for the mentee, many times your mentor will annoy you. They feel like jumping out of the boat like Oprah, um, Oprah who, who was Ruth's co-wife. Yeah? And it takes a lot of endurance and persistence to say, you know what, I'm not joining out, jumping out of this boat. Um, but because this my mentor is the bridge I need to climb to enter into my destiny. Can you imagine if Naomi said, and in Naomi's case, she just came from a very bitter experience, so she must have been a bitter woman. She would have snapped her root so many times. You know, she would have accused Ruth unjustly many times. She would have done a million and one things that gave Ruth more than enough reason to jump out of that boat. But guess what? Ruth was discerning. She told herself, let me cut out some flowers. Like, I know that this woman has been through pain. So I understand where she's coming from. So I will not treat her the way she deserves to be treated. Not knowing that it was a test that would determine whether she will enter her prophetic destiny or not. Many of us are too quick to not want to submit for mentoring. Not knowing that training for reigning is what we are supposed to be going through. So from Naomi's story, we'll see that if we learn to be discerning, will arrive at our destination. And those are the kind of relationship, relationships that God wants us to build in this home. Naomi's case was so bad that she told herself, don't call me um, Naomi anymore, which means pleasant. But call me bitter. Life has dealt bitterly with me. But that devil is a liar. I come to announce to you today that is there anybody that has been through bitter situations? There is an anointing, a healing anointing this day. Like my sister gave her testimony that is bringing about proper and total healing. Like God showed Moses that tree that he put into that bitter water of Mara and it became sweet. I decree by the word of God coming forth in spirit and in truth uh, that healing is taking place in your heart. From those things that broke you as a little child, from those things that troubled you, from those relationships uh, that you've not fully recovered from, those things that have affected your foundation, I decree that the balm of Gilead himself is touching your heart, uh, mending your broken heart, turning that heart of stone to a heart of flesh, causing total recovery, losing your bands and your chains, that you're able to enter into the fullness of your marital mandate, of the fullness of the relationships and nurture those relationships that will bring into your prepared place in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says it causes the barren woman to become a joyful mother of children. Some of you have been troubled mothers of children, not joyful mothers, or sickly mothers. I decree by God's healing power today uh, that your troubles come to an end in the name of Jesus. That sorrow you will see no more. That Egyptian you will see no more. Your bitter water is turned to sweetness. Uh, I speak to that troubled marriage right now in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter how long the storms have been brewing for. I command those storms to be made calm in the name of Jesus. I speak peace to every troubled marriage in the name of Jesus. By the reason of the anointing, I command eyes to be opened. I command healing in your hearts that you forgive one another. The restoration takes place in every troubled home in the name of Jesus. I command restoration of fathers to their children and children to their parents in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that every bitter water in this place is made sweet in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Going back to Naomi's story, you know many of us as young people, we develop that mindset that I pray that I will marry a guy whose mother is late. My prayer for you is that when you have children, 
The spouses to be of your sons will not pray that same prayer. <laughs> You're not saying amen. amen. Do you know the meaning of that prayer? If the spouses of your children pray it. So if that mindset ever comes to you, know that the devil binds it. Tell yourself because whatever you sow is what you reap. Women, it's about time we begin to break the circle of mother-in-law and daughter-in-law fight. Because there's no fight anywhere, it's just the enemy. Yes, we know there are a few wicked people. But largely, mother-in-laws are amazing people. And it's the devil that just tries to cause that conflict. And as a man thinking in his heart, so is he's he. Once you begin to change your mindset, you find out that your experience will be different. Have you ever thought of what that woman went through to raise your husband? And you don't know what such women have done to pay their ways through school fees, um, um, to pay school fees. Some have sold all sorts, sold jewelry, sold everything, fought, prayed, interceded, sacrificed, given up almost their whole lives for your husband to become who he is today. Then you marry the guy looking swaggish. You didn't know what his mother did to create that swag. Then you begin to decide that the mother is a witch. Ah, even God will not find it funny with you. Because once she enters intercession for you, she just remind God of all the years of her pain and her labor. And God will tell you, my daughter, you have not done well. So what you don't want to sow, unless you don't want to have boys. How many of you have boys here? How many of you want to have boys? Okay, as many of you that will have sons, what you don't want to reap, do not what? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what, what, matter what mother-in-law has been doing, even if she has not been nice. Remember the sacrifices she made for your husband. If, at least when she was carrying your husband, she was not smoking weed. That would have made your husband's nose crooked like this. Or would have aborted your husband that you would have not met him. So at the end of the day, she did some things well, even if she's not doing everything well. Give her some credit at least. These are the kind of days where you call them, my mother, my mother-in-law, Chukugagazigi, plenty. May God bless you for me. May God keep you strong. May God fight your battles. And as God is blessing you, don't wait until you have one million dollars. From the 10,000 you earn, give her 5 naira, give her 10 naira, consistently like that. Because your own turn will soon come. How many of us realized when we were 10 or 15? Do you know what most of you are now? <laughs> Before you know it, if Christ tarries, you'll be 90. The evening of your life is the seeds you are sowing now that will determine who will take care of you. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. It is often asked, where is the God of Elijah? Well, the time has come to seek the Elijahs of God. Revival House of Glory International Church, carrying the torch of revival across the nations. People often ask, where is the God of Elijah? Well, God is asking, where are the Elijahs of God? At Rogic, we are grooming men and women with the tools to make the difference in everyday life. Join us every Sunday at 8 a.m. and on Wednesdays at 5.45 p.m. for fresh insights to translate your life from the mundane to the glorious. Venue is Golden Bird Event Center, Plot 859, 
A. Ame Ebute Street, Wye District, Abuja. On Olushegun Obasanjo Way, make the turn into Anyim Pius Anyim Street, then take the right turn onto Ame Ebute Street. Your host is Goodheart Obi Ekweme. Revival is here again. Revival House of Glory International Church is an expression of the Horn of Revival Ministry. How many of us realize when we were 10 or 15? Do you know what most of you are now? <laughs> Before you know it, if Christ tarries, you'll be 90. The evening of your life is the seeds you are sowing now that will determine who will take care of you by the evening of your life. So this is the time to be conscious of that, that I will not sow evil seeds. Amen. And then for the caregivers that God has given us to raise, like Naomi, God gave you those children in, um, purposely to nurture and to push them into their mandates. Yes, I know many of them are like diamonds in the rough. Be that's because they've not had the privileges we have had and your children are having. See, child, this is an assignment God has given me. And don't treat them like trash because God will not treat you like trash. And you don't know which day you will need those girls. You don't know which day which your children will need them. So mothers, let us be nurturing mothers. Let us be, let's use our womb to nurture. Let's birth greatness. How would it be for you to take care of a caregiver and push her into her mandate? And tomorrow, who was Esther? Was she not an orphan? And tomorrow she becomes the first lady in this country. Would that not be your joy? Amen. Whatever you desire for your children, desire for them as well. Is there any mother that's awakening in this house today? Your labor will not be in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. May God fulfill his assignment over your life. May the strength to fulfill that assignment be released unto you. For he gives more grace. May grace abound towards you in the name of Jesus. May our God strengthen your feeble hands in the name of Jesus. May God strengthen your hands in the place of warfare. May God teach your hands to war and your fingers to fight. May God teach your hands to war such that a bow of steel is broken by your arms in the name of Jesus. May God contend with everything that contends with your children. God will cause them to eat their own flesh and be drunk with their own blood as a sweet wine. God will save you and your children. May the single women in this house, as you position yourself to birth greatness, may your own husband, your own boys take his place. In the name of Jesus, I want us to quickly bow our heads. Pastor is going to come and pray for us. Is there anybody in this house that is saying to Jesus, Father, I thank you for your mercies over me. Jesus, I repent of my sins. I want to accept you into my heart. I want you to lift your hands right now. We have three prayer segments and I need Pastor to round up the prayer um, segments for us. Can somebody please put up your hands and say... Jesus, I want to rededicate my heart to you. The second prayer point, um, the second group of prayers is for people who are saying to God, Lord, I need, teach me how to love again. I've been broken, I've been bitter. I've been through very difficult seasons. And you cannot give love unless you have received the love of the Father. I need a revelation of your love. I want you to wrap your arms of love around me. I receive grace to forgive, to release bitterness, to release pain. I receive wholeness in your presence. I want you to quickly rise up on your feet. I just want you to wrap your arms of mercy around me. The revelation of your love. I, I want to receive healing from my hurt and pain. And just say, Lord, I receive your healing balm in this place. Thank you for grace to release of the hurt of my past. I receive grace. I let go of the hurt and the pain I've carried for so long. I receive grace upon this altar. I receive God's healing balm in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for releasing your healing power unto everyone that is hurting. Holy Spirit, I thank you for the release of your healing power. For that pain, they will know no more. Yes, Lord. That they will receive your love. Somebody just breathe in and breathe out. And say, Lord, I receive your love. I receive your love. I receive your love. I receive your love. Let it flow like a river in my heart. Ria kashta leke seteria magashta de mororia. Maleke seteria gashtelika seteri mororia. 
Malika seteria gashtelika setere mororia. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Moshta leke seteria mararia. Moshta leke seteria Will all the wonderful women rise up on your feet as I join my hands with my wonderful wife to speak a word of blessing over you. You are truly a gift to mankind. Many of you may have been broken in one way or the other. Fragmented, perhaps even shattered. Perhaps by the estimation of men, even scattered. But really, God is able to put together the broken pieces and make you whole again. What the Lord forms is able to feel. We stand in agreement with you today that healing is here. Restoration is here. The new day that you've dreamt about, you've craved for, yearned for, cried for, that day is here. Not tomorrow. It is now. Will you just lift up those hands to your Father in heaven? Say, Abba, Father, you know where most I've been hurt and broken. Will you heal me? And really, I want to address many wives today that there are things you've carried that even your husband of 12, 15, 18, 21 years, they don't know about. You've carried the pain. And sometimes unwittingly, unknowingly, he will make words and utter statement and release words that as it were takes you back to memory lane but today i believe god is traveling into your memory lane to heal to heal the hurts wow to heal the hurts and to heal your heart our father and our god we lock arms as a family whom you've helped thus far 20 plus years we've seen your mercy we've seen your grace the truth be told we both come from broken homes homes that are really really wow in the natural we call it messed up because of polygamy but somehow you've helped us thus far we ask lord that you reach out to every woman in this house and perhaps one or two or three who are long on across the nations who are hurting in one way or the other release your balm your balm your balm of healing your balm of healing will receive for them physical healing we receive for them emotional healing a relief we receive for them mental healing where they've been broken a face trauma wow lord we see you we see you yes yes receive that breathe in and out yes Woo. katuskli and ononde shotokapa sekete prekete nakutuskli kata we decree and declare the doors the crevices in their minds where the enemy gained access to wake up memories again from today wow they are permanently shot in the name of Jesus, where the enemy found access to travel as the horse and the rider that he is. Today we declare those doors in their minds. They are shut permanently by the blood of the everlasting covenant. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Yes, the innocent girl is rising again. Yes, I dare say the virgin is rising again. Yes, I say the woman that is whole is rising again. You, you would no longer release bitter water and sweet water from today. I tell you, I tell you, sweet waters. Somebody say sweet waters. Sweet waters. Sweet waters. That's it. That's it. Father, we thank you. Now lift your hands and bless the Lord for healing. Lord will give you the praise. Every woman, wave those hands from side to side and give your God praise. 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 Yes, give your God praise. Let him go deep. Let him walk a deep walk in you. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have given thanks. You have just experienced the preaching and teaching ministry of Goodheart Obi Ekweme, lead pastor of Revival House of Glory International Church, Rajik, and the apostolic leader of the Horn of Revival Ministry, HORM, a global outreach ministry mandated to carry the torch of revival across cities and nations. If you would like to ask a question, share your prayer request or testimony, or get more messages or books from Goodheart, please call or text 
4444 or email info at rogic.org. Also, download the Horn of Revival Ministry app on Google Play or Apple Store to connect with a variety of free quality resources, including Rogic Radio and our refreshing daily devotions to take you higher in life. Keep hearing the Word of God. It will produce intimacy with His Spirit for uncommon encounters on the earth.